In this video here, I want to walk you through one of the first challenge activities in um, section seven here. And this has to deal with hypothesis testing for a population proportion. Okay, so here's the problem. An online real, re retailer would like to know whether the proportion of customers who visit the site and make a purchase is different than 50%. Okay, so we're, we're basically gonna do a hypothesis test to see if it's different than 50%. So that, that keyword there tells me it's gonna be a two-tailed test. So a simple random sample of customers is taken and you can see the results here um, in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so let's go through the, uh, the, the options here or the questions. All right, what is the population parameter? Um, so what we're, what we're investigating here is the proportion of all customers um, because this is gonna be about uh, proportion, right? Whether proportion of customers. So the population per parameter is the proportion of all customers who have made a purchase on the site. All right, what condition for using the Z distribution is met? In this case here, it's a, a simple random sample of more than 30 customers. That's a reference to the uh, central limit theorem. Next question says, what is the level of significance? Well, do you see the confidence level here where it says 99? That tells you the level of significance is 1% or, or 0.01. Next question says, what is the null hypothesis? And it's always a statement of equality, right? So we're gonna assume that the proportion is equal to 50. And what we wanna do as our alternative is show, wait a second, no way, it's not equal to 50. Okay, so should uh, the null be rejected or does the null fail to be rejected? In this case, we're going to, you have to look at your p-value, right? So my p-value here of the test is 0 0.006, which is less than the level of significance. So we're going to reject the null. And what, what we're saying here is sufficient evidence exists to support the claim that the number of customers who visit the site and make a purchase is, um, is not 50%. It's some different amount here. All right, and so let's check. And we got them all. So this, is, this video here walks you through your first challenge activity.